What is one thing that every single doctor should be talking about, but yet very few pediatricians and family medical medical doctors know hardly anything about? The vagus nerve. It's a buzzword in health, and there's a very good reason for that. I want to talk about how vagus nerve dysfunction and vagus nerve disorders are serious contributors to all sorts of neurological challenges in the health of our kiddos today. The science is clear, and there is more research coming out every year linking vagus nerve disorders and vagus nerve dysfunction to all of the common neurological disorders in kids, such as autism, ADHD, anxiety, sensory processing disorders, and especially seizures and epilepsy. So this video is for parents who are still searching for answers to explain their children's neurological conditions and haven't yet gotten a full understanding of what's really going on from their pediatrician, from the neurologist, from the traditional healthcare providers. And teachers, this video is also for you. As we start back to school and get in the swing of things within our classrooms, we know that you're spotting these neurological conditions, and now I've got answers and understanding for you as well that don't include medications. It's also for you if you've done all sorts of research into the gut health and how that plays into neurological disorders. You know about the gut-brain connection, the brain-gut connection, and the vagus nerve already, but want to dig a little deeper. So let's roll. Vagus nerve disorders and how they link to everything from autism, anxiety, sensory challenges, and ADHD to seizures, dysautonomia, POTS, PANDAS, all the acronyms, and more. I want to first start with Addie's story. Addie, like many, found her way into her office after searching everywhere else for answers. She suffered from what wasn't really diagnosed yet, and I don't care for diagnoses, I care more about stories and, and what's going on, but she had what many would call POTS postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, which is a very fancy way of me saying she'd get revved up and then would pass out. And quite often, this would happen three to four times per day at its peak for about 30 to 45 seconds over a span of five months. Terribly frustrating for her and her parents. They even made a trip to the ER because they thought she broke her nose after hitting the wall during one of her episodes. And they tried everything, every doctor, every test, every assessment, and prior to finding us at Foundations, the last doctor that they had seen suggested that this was all in Addie's head and she should seek out a psychiatrist. Because that makes sense. An eighth grade Addie just wants to draw attention to herself. And if you know her, that is the last thing that Addie cares about. She's not about drama, attention, any of that stuff. Anyway, they've tried everything, but they hadn't yet tried neurologically focused chiropractic care. And within two weeks, Addie's episodes went from three to four times a day to none. And now four months later, she's only had a couple episodes now that she's added some more stressors into her life back at school and volleyball again and all that. But she's a rock star, she knows it, and she's able to thrive without the worry of passing out now. Way to go, Addie. And look out, SI Foundation's family in about 10 years. I have got an inkling that she might be a pediatric chiropractor. I've been working on her to get her to go to chiropractic school after high school. She'll be one of us before too long. The vagus nerve is by far and away the single most important nerve in the entire body, serving to control and regulate core developmental and health function in kids such as sleeping, eating, digestion, immune function, speech, communication, socialization, behavior, uh, emotional regulation. When this one thing goes wrong and the vagus nerve is not working right, it opens the door for a myriad or perfect storm of neurological challenges in particular. Now, vagus nerve disorders and dysfunction are strongly linked to common neurological challenges in kids such as autism, ADHD, sensory processing disorder, anxiety, epilepsy, which is seizures, as well as two conditions that are dramatically on the rise in teenagers, especially POTS and PANDAS that I just mentioned. If there was just one thing we wish we could teach all parents, it's this. The connection between birth interventions and trauma and early exposure to toxins in kids is what causes vagus nerve dysfunctions and disorders. Here's how vagus nerve dysfunctions and disorders are linked. First, the vagus nerve is often injured or damaged via birth interventions and trauma from things like forceps, vacuum extraction, inductions, C-sections. Both my kids went through that. I know them as well as anybody. Second, the vagus nerve is very sensitive to early exposure to toxins, antibiotics, and the overuse of other medications. And vagus nerve disorders and dysfunctions, known as subluxation, first show up with things like colic, constipation, ear infections in infants, and parents are mistakenly told that don't worry, they'll grow out of it. Then from there, they progress into neurodevelopmental delays and motor challenges, such as missed milestones, delays in walking and talking, frequent tantrums and meltdowns, 
other emotional behavioral problems in toddlers and preschool age children. And finally, from there, with the vagus nerve not working properly to calm and balance the system and regulate that side of the nervous system, grade school kids and teenagers end up with a sympathetic nerve system that is stuck in constant overdrive or fight or flight, contributing to challenges like hyperactivity, impulsiveness, lack of paying attention, behavior, anxiety, and the list goes on and on and on. So for many kids, if the vagus nerve disorder and dysfunction is there long enough, and it's severe enough, they even contribute to really challenging conditions such as seizures, epilepsy, POTS that we talked about with Addy, and PANDAS. All of which are conditions that are deeply rooted in neurological dysfunction and very much in advanced neurologically focused care that we provide here at Foundations Chiropractic. Thankfully, the function of the vagus nerve can be measured and assessed in just three to five minutes in our office with an incredible piece of technology that is truly now on the forefront of all healthcare called the HRV or heart rate variability. This exam will tell us in just minutes if your child is struggling with vagus nerve disorders and vagus nerve dysfunction, and if so, how severely. And once we have this incredible HRV and our other neurological exams that look for vagus nerve disorders and vagus nerve dysfunction, we can then together put together a very customized and very personalized care plan for your child to address these challenges head on without drugs, without surgery. So as always, please, any questions, comments, concerns, anything, give us an email, give us a phone call, whatever you need. Share this information with other moms, dads, teachers, uh, groups, because we know if there's one of you out there, there's thousands that need this information. We're always here to help. Thank you.